And there it is. There it is. We wondered how long it would take them to change the narrative around the Little Mermaid. Uh, yeah, it did poorly overseas because of all the racists. Yeah, we we joked about this yesterday. We said, you know, oh, they're gonna they keep saying that it was it, it did so bad because in China and South Korea because of the racist people just did not want to go see it. But then the Spider Verse movie did seven times what the Little Mermaid did opening weekend overseas and mostly in China. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna talk about this because there are all kinds of articles popping up now. Of course there is. God, that, you look uh, stupid now. Stop talking. It's all racism. Racism, racism. That's why that's why the Little Mermaid didn't perform. It couldn't possibly be that people are tired of Disney movies, tired of remakes. Uh it couldn't possibly be because, you know, China is just over Disney in general. They don't seem to really like their movies very yeah, much. Yeah, or so. that people just didn't want to see this movie. Because, right. you know, they just don't want to see it. But no, no, it's because you're all racists. Even you're, I love how they tell their countries they're racist. Other, yeah. other groups of people, ethnic people groups, you're all racist because you didn't watch our damn movie. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Most of the articles on The Little Mermaid today are uh, talking about the racism. The racism around right. The Little Mermaid. It's all racist. That's why it didn't do well. Yeah. Now, look, to be fair, China, yeah, doesn't doesn't generally like darker skinned people in their movies. But but uh, Black Panther did pretty OK over there. One hundred and five million. Again, you know, given the amount of people, though, it's not fantastic, but it still did pretty OK. And uh, yeah, currently the Spider-Verse movie is still doing many times what The Little Mermaid is doing now. You know, this movie, when it was announced, when the trailer dropped, uh, there were, you know, Chinese users on social media that were uh, race, re, how do you call it, race bending, race reverting Ariel via AI. Yeah, to, yeah, I bet you know, remember that, yeah. And uh, there was quite a bit of backlash because I guess they, they like Ariel quite a bit in China and South Korea. But yeah, they're just blaming, just blaming racism. Well, um, that's the easy shield. It's just like, but it's one thing when you tell people in your own country, you're like, oh, you're racist or whatever. But you start telling the world they're all racist because they didn't go to your damn movie. I think you're overstepping yeah. a lot. So according to The Hollywood Reporter, and then we'll go out to The Root, which this is interesting on The Root. The Root is uh, an Afrocentrist, black news and black views with a whole lot of attitude website. And uh, one of the commenters in there was kind of like, yeah, well, how do you explain Miles Morales doing, mm -hmm. doing okay? You're allowed to be rational. But we'll, we'll go out to that here in a second. The movie has grossed a mere $3.6 million in the first 10 days of release in China, by far the worst showing among Disney's live-action adaptations. Do, people don't want Disney's live-action adaptations anymore. They just don't want it. And then my next comment is there's 51 markets that China was part of. What about the other 50 markets? Or 49 if you're counting South Korea. They didn't like it either. Why aren't they all racists? Yeah, right. It's just China and South Korea. So South Korea did 4.4 million. Sources close to the movie as well as box office analysts say that uh, Disney knew Little Mermaid could face challenges, but it was surprised by the extent of the backlash and its impact. Um, I think people, maybe people don't like your lazy, you know, race swapping. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nothing to do with racism. People are like, eh, I don't care. And you know what? Y'all were telling everybody they were racist before it came out, and they were shitty people. If you had any criticism of this film, anything related to the film, you are a terrible person. Mabel didn't go because they got tired of the media telling them they were shitty people if they didn't embrace this film. Uh, it's lazy. So they're saying the social media outcry over Bailey's casting has been particularly vociferous in both markets. Sources believe this has resulted in unverified audience reviews bashing Bullshit. the movie. What sources? Un un Resor receipts. What sources? Unverified audience reviews. Well, speaking of receipts, there weren't a lot of receipts. There weren't a lot of box office receipts. That that tells you what people well, think. What they about the unfair yet verified audience reviews that are giving it five stars and then they're all in like a lockstep saying the exact same things? What about those? Well, this is um, Zapsy. This is uh, this is in South Korea. There's there's growing concern, growing concern about how Disney's live action musical The Little Mermaid is being received in South Korea. Uh, people said that. They were using extreme terms like burnt fish, black mermaid, and sea monster. Okay, okay that's, that's not, not good. That's not okay. That's not good. Uh, the controversy seemed to die down after the world premiere screening in North America on May 8th. Uh, there's been a wave of praise for the exceptional acting. Well, you know what skills. I think is going on, and I'm going to tell you this. 
Because I was like, nobody's talking about The Little Mermaid anymore. Like, it fell off a cliff. Like, nobody was talking about it anymore. Except for the media outlets trying to, to stir up views by yelling racism, racism. I wasn't seeing jack shit about the movie anymore. And I went to look into it. And all I could find was all outlets yelling racist, racist. So most people didn't even, don't even care. It's over and done with. And they're just, like, ready to step over it and move on to something else. Yeah. So here's what's interesting. I actually had somebody that's in Japan write me and say that Japanese are concerned that people are going to think they're racist because they're not really turning out for the movie because they're not interested in the movie, not because of the race. swap. They're just like, oh, God, it's another live action remake, whatever. And apparently in Korea, it was the same thing. People were like, God, I hope people don't think we're racist because we right. think the movie looks That's like they're crap. Trying to do. You know? They're trying to bully them into going to the movie. Yeah. And um, anyway, it's it's just like this. They're going to look for every reason under the sun to defend why this this movie was the most the bestest thing ever. And of course, the racism card was played immediately. You know, they, it was played before the movie came out. If anybody questioned why the hell they switched Ariel, because it was really lazy and pandering and it was insulting to a lot of people. Um then you are just a terrible, bigoted person. And they're trying to use the same tactic to people overseas. And yes, I'm sure racism played into it somewhat, but not to the level they're claiming. Because Into the Spider-Verse had no problem. And I mean, they're still not doing great overseas either, but China was its biggest market. So this is interesting. This was a um, this was an op-ed in the Global Times, an editorial piece, right? A Chinese newspaper. The controversy surrounding Disney's forced inclusion of minorities in classic films is not about racism. But it's a lazy and irresponsible storytelling strategy. Many Chinese netizens said that, like Snow White, the image of the mermaid princess in Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales has long been rooted in their hearts, and it takes a leap of imagination to accept the new cast. Um, they had their own versions. I think there were multiple versions of The Little Mermaid. It's pretty beloved, I guess, overseas, too. And um, they're basically like, hey, yeah, the forced inclusion is, is lazy. Now, you did the video the other day talking about the guy who's behind all these remakes. And they they said basically at the forefront of it, regardless of what Disney says, because the director was trying to say that they looked at uh, all kinds of actresses, all skin tones, whatever. But he said front and center was diversity and inclusion. He flat out said that's what they're pushing. So they went in there deliberately looking to change these characters for modern audiences. Flat out said it. Yeah. So we know that they're doing it on purpose yes. to try to like you know push agenda. They're saying they're trying to push agenda, but if you say why 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 can't you just make something new? Why can't you make a new mermaid story and not you know just race bend Ariel? Because it's not really right. It's not, it's really insulting to people of color too because they're like I can't even get my own damn story now. I have to have a, a hand me down. No no, but there that, that's the mandate. Snow White. Snow White's flipping fucking Snow White because her skin's as white as snow. Not now. I mean, not if there's anymore. one character they should keep as a white person. It's it's an ironic name, isn't it? It's an ironic name. Uh, God tried to tell you not to make the movie. God tried to burn the set down. And That's Snow White, but Little Mermaid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because water doesn't catch fire. Except that there's a lot of pollution, which might be the case. Who knows? Anyway, but yeah, this is the director. The director's like, we saw every ethnicity. There was no agenda to cast a woman of color. It really was just like, let's find the best Ariel and Hallie claim the role. Yeah, except the person in charge of live action said that they're they're deliberately changing the characters on purpose. Well, this is interesting because they're noting the Hollywood Reporter. Hollywood earnings have been down in China since the pandemic. I was like, they have, their movies have not been doing, the American movies have not been doing well in China for a while now. No, even, even the Fast and the Furious movies are not doing as well as they used to do. All of the Marvel movies are down. They're over America. They're over our movies. They're over pandering. Yeah. They're over, you know, all of it. And they're tired, I think, probably of Marvel movies. And they're tired of live action remakes like the rest of us. This is this is telling too. They said even so now can we officially call it a flop? Even against a collective backdrop of diminished China potential, the scale of the Little Mermaid's flop is conspicuous. The Jungle Book, The Lion King, they were outright blockbusters in China, earning 150 million and 120 million respectively, while Aladdin took in a solid 53.5 million. Even Cruella which was released during the pandemic, earned $24 million, far more than Little Mermaid will. Yes, and then we have Avatar. Avatar went over there, the second movie, and just kicked ass. And it started yeah. out slow. And then it did, it like was huge in China. 
Yeah, so uh, of course, you know, The Root has this article. Can you guess what? Can you guess why The Little Mermaid is a huge hit, but not in China? Can you guess, guys? Um, same same reason, obviously. You know, I mean, it's, it's racism part of it, I'm sure. Yeah, they're trying to uh, say that there was unusual voting activity. People are down. You know what? This it. is bullshit. I don't buy it. I mean, I think people were definitely trying to vote it down, but not more so than any other film or, or live action remake that they keep trying to do. I also don't notice them. They, they, they never mentioned about people that were artificially inflating it. Those are automatically true. Yeah, they said the film hasn't opened in Japan yet, but social media and online forums re reiterate racist hate for Ariel being black. Um, so a lot Maybe of people don't like race swaps. Well, that's it. And uh, again, you know, this this uh, insider from Japan told me that, you know, he was seeing, um, you know, during the trailer, people were like, I'm not watching that. It's another live action movie. But there is concern that when it flops in Japan, too, and it will that the whole country is going to be painted as being racist. That's what they keep doing. They keep doing to everybody, though. Welcome to the club. Pretty much, they're, 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 they're the media and Disney. If you don't like our lazy-ass race swap and you don't want to watch our live-action fucking movie, it's not because of our choices. It's because all of you, the rest of the world, are all racist haters, and y'all suck. Yes, this is Adrian Williams. The Spider-Man one also has an Afro-Latino in it, and it's doing well enough. I don't know what it was, but this movie had two Asian people in it, and one was the main character. Uh, if I had to guess, at least over the casting hate, it may have something to do with changing the race of the main character. And this person's like, she's still a mermaid. Oh, my God. So they're going to get down to the most granular. Look, um, Miles Morales is is a unique character, even if he is derivative of Spider-Man. But beyond that, people are over the remakes. They're over Disney. They're over the obvious agenda. I mean, it's so obvious at this point. And again, to have the guy in charge slip and basically be like, well, we're, we're basically redoing all the movies to change Disney's problematic past. That's why we're doing mm. it. That's why we're doing it. Whoopsie doopsie. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. You know, so now everybody that suspected that knows what the truth actually is, you know? Yeah. I just thought it funny that I like her outfits, but Halle Bailey keeps going to all the premieres for this, for this kids movie in quotes. And she always has these dresses that her boobs are like barely staying in. And I find it very funny because especially since they changed the top on the Ariel's outfit. I, w I was going to say, they couldn't do the shells, but she can go to the, the premiere like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, her dresses are beautiful. I'm oh, not going to yeah, say they yeah. aren't. I just thought they were a little, a little racy for a kids movie premiere, but that's just me. Uh, you said race. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's right. Uh, I'm a racist, too, now. Oh, God. All right. Are we going to wrap this up? Yep. All right. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Sorry, I, I yelled loudly. That's okay. I got I got the limiter on. Okay. So uh, you can tell like pitch setting. Yeah, you can you can sell you can Wait, tell. Really, it automatically limits it when it, I yell. It does when you get when the pitch gets too high. It it <laughs> it does. When sometimes if you sound like all robotic, it's oh because it's, it's bringing the decibels. Down. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.